Hi, Mrs. Young here, and welcome to my podcast today on passive transport versus active transport. This is what we already know. We know that all cells are surrounded by a selectively permeable cell membrane. And if you remember that selectively permeable means that the cell membrane lets some things in and some things out, but not everything can just go freely. So how do certain things like water and carbon dioxide and oxygen, things like that, how do they get in and out of the cell? Well, there's a couple different ways. The first one we're gonna talk about is passive transport. This is when movement of materials through a cell membrane happens without the use of cellular energy. So the cells, they don't have to use up any of their precious energy to move things in and out. Some examples are diffusion and osmosis. These are types of passive transport that we'll talk about a little bit more. You can think about passive transport as being like riding a bike downhill. If you ride a bike downhill, you're moving, and the bike is moving, but you don't have to do anything. You don't have to exert any energy or pedal or do any of that to move. You just sit back and enjoy the ride. So let's talk about diffusion. Diffusion is a form of passive transport. This is when molecules move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. So you can see here, you have a bunch of molecules up in the corner and they're slowly diffusing until they're all equally spaced. Diffusion happens because when you have a bunch of molecules all concentrated into one small space, they're gonna start bouncing off each other. Molecules are always moving and when there's a bunch of them all together, they're gonna to collide and they're gonna keep colliding. And as they hit each other, they're going to start spreading out. And that's how diffusion works. An example is if you were at the front of a room and you sprayed some air freshener, the people in the back would eventually be able to smell the air freshener that you sprayed. It might take a while, but they would eventually be able to smell it because those particles have diffused through the air. The other type of passive transport is osmosis. Now, osmosis is when is the diffusion of water across a selectively permeable membrane. Osmosis only deals with water. That's the important part here. So over here, you can see we have the selectively permeable membrane. That's the dashed line. And on one side, we have the pink water molecules and then on the other side, we have the big purple, let's say, sucrose molecules. With osmosis, those water molecules are going to diffuse across that membrane to try and balance out those sucrose molecules. So now the water's equal on both sides. Next, we have active transport. So active transport is the movement of materials across the cell membrane using cellular energy. This can, you can think of this as like riding a bike uphill. If you're going uphill, you have to pedal, you have to exert energy to try and overcome that gravity and get up the hill. And that's exactly what active transport is. You would use active transport when you were trying to um, move particles that are in a lower concentration, move them into a higher concentration. Because normally, if you were in a high concentration, those particles would want to move across to the lower. But sometimes you just have to get stuff from the lower end to the higher end. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to exert some energy and that's when you would use active transport. So here's a question. We've all seen this little cartoon of Garfield that says learning by osmosis. Based on what you've learned in this podcast, what makes this cartoon incorrect? You can pause the video if you need to, to think about it. So Dwight from the office says, learning through osmosis is false because osmosis, oh, they spelled it wrong. I just noticed that. Osmosis is diffusion that applies specifically to water. 
So how might you correct this poster? You would say learning through diffusion. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.